Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here with a tutorial to teach you how to draw almost anything. Now we have a nice sheet of paper, basic pencil, and what we're going to do is just draw some squiggles. Drawing anything doesn't require you to really think too much about what you're drawing. You're not supposed to think too much about what you want to draw. You let uh, you kind of let the magic happen, just kind of mysteriously appear. Right here I'm just drawing some squiggles and some lines randomly everywhere, just randomly everywhere. No particular order. <clears throat> and just thinking about, let's see, just adjusting. And um, in the top left corner, those lines up there kind of look like hair, hair to me. And it's starting to appear. I could already see where the eye is going to go. It's right there. So you can see I'm drawing it in. And this is all from squiggles right here. And random squiggles. And right here, it kind of looks like a jaw and a nose right here is a jaw and right there is a nose right there where i'm drawing just darkening in just fall from random squiggles you know you just let your mind's eye your pineal gland your third eye kind of wander about imaginatively connect the dots basically is what you're doing squiggle around don't think too logically let the magic happen right here i'm just uh drawing in the hair so apparently by connecting the dots and just letting myself kind of go wild, let it connecting the lines, so to speak, the squiggles. It looks like a camel with a camel with some crazy hair, like a punk rock camel. So that's what is coming out of the random squiggles that I drew on the paper. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna darken in the mouth a little bit, just kind of like, you know, um, when you're drawing randomly, don't again don't think too much but at the same time don't uh don't draw too hard don't put too much force on the pencil uh, draw your squiggles lightly you know um kind of do it uh um mysteriously just kind of let the lines kind of like connect and 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 uh just let your hand go free but don't put too much force on the darkness of the pencil on the direction of the pencil now right here looks like the hair I'm drawing in the hair right here and this looks like it's going to be his chest his arm right there shoulder and his chest right there and it's gonna put in some more looking around a little bit just kind of like you know as you can see how I'm doing it I'm not drawing hard I'm not drawing dark lines as I'm filling in and connecting the lines the dots I'm filling them in with more squiggles and like light squiggles and medium dark lines, pencil lines, so that the object or the person or the monster or whatever comes out uh, progressively out, not forcefully. You're creating something, you're sculpting uh, like a sculpture, you're sculpting gently, making it very detailed, you know. <clears throat> So I just put a little bit, uh, just uh, just putting a little bit of details here and there in the face. What I'm doing, I'm just kind of looking around, just lightly, kind of softly looking around, and kind of just squiggling, and putting more squiggles and more lines, and connecting the dots, and not really, you know, forcing the, not forcing the image to come, but just to kind of let the image just come by just putting more random lines with random lines, and you just let your imagination make the object come to life let your third eye guide you imagination so right there I'm putting more so now I'm going all out and I'm putting more detail in the face of the camel see I, I'm drawing more darker lines you can see now the mouth is coming out more the jaw is coming out more nice nice and dark jagged sharp lines this is a very uh, abstract kind of like monstrous alien kind of camel like a punk rock kind of camel looking monster alien guy <clears throat> that's what I like to draw but see I'm drawing now I'm going all out and putting more shade I'm putting shade I'm putting in some texture some more darker lines I'm making some bumps in the throat to give it more like maybe like is a reptile part reptile maybe you know 
just having fun, connecting the dots and not forcing the object to come out, but just connecting the squiggles. Just squiggle all about and just let them come out. And when you're confident near the end, like how you see how I'm putting more darker shades in, this is toward the end of where I'm already comfortable with, okay, this is a punk rock camo, so I'm gonna put in more, I'm gonna put in my own little style and make him come to life. <clears throat> See, now putting more in his hair, more emphasis on his, it's like a jerry curl. You know, it's like the front is like a punk rock hair and the back is like a jerry curl. You know, he's like a real wacky kind of a wild camel, space alien camel. Very detailed, realistic looking, very wild, surreal drawing of a space camel. And again, this is all from squiggles, random squiggles. You start off with random, there's his nose. The dark spot I put there, there's his, his nostril, his nasal passage. And just again, it all came from random, random squiggles, just randomly squiggling out. You can draw anything you want. But the thing is, the trick to the trick and magic to drawing is to not to overthink what you're drawing, what you want to draw. Don't draw what you want to draw. You know, if you want to look like a, a professional artist, a master artist just randomly squiggle lines out and put them out let the lines connect the dots let your mind's eye connect the dots for you and then you just kind of lightly kind of shade in here and there and connect lines with more lines and then when you're comfortable shade it all in and there you go the space camel all from random lines and this is the tutorial on how to teach how to draw anything you could draw a space camel, a vehicle, a person, face, whatever, monsters. This is Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.